Hey, what's up you guys? It's not seen here. Now, before I start the video, I wanted to personally thank you guys for helping me reach 10,000 subscribers. I wanna say thank you to everyone who's subscribed, everyone who's commented on videos, and I wanna say thank you to everyone who's made this a community. I'm really grateful to have you guys, and I'm really happy that you get to embark on this journey with me, because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do it. And to thank you guys for all the support that you show me throughout these two years of me making videos, I wanted to show you guys my appreciation by giving away my Google Pixel 5a. And if you do want a chance to win my Pixel 5a, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and under my latest post, comment done. And that's pretty much it. And again, I wanna say that I appreciate everyone who has helped this channel grow, but I'm not gonna waste you guys time. So let's get right to the video. What's up you guys? It's Nassim here. Now, after using the Galaxy S22 for about four months now, the one thing that kept coming to my mind after using it on a day-to-day -day basis was this one simple statement that I think explains the S22 pretty perfectly. And that statement is, I think that the Galaxy S22 is a good phone, but what's the point? Now I ask, what's the point? Because when we look at the Samsung's lineup of phones, each and every phone has a purpose. The A series is great for consumers that want a good phone, but don't really want to spend a ton of money. The foldable series is for consumers that want a futuristic yet nostalgic phone. The fan edition series is for people who want a flagship like phone that still won't cost them a fortune and the Galaxy S series is for consumers that still want the best that Samsung has to offer. And that's kind of a problem because unlike all of the other phones in the lineup, the S22 doesn't really stand out as a top of the line flagship because when you go to the actual user experience, it's the same exact phone as the S21 FE, which by the way, is still much cheaper. And I'm not saying this because I think the S22 is a bad phone. I actually think it's a really good phone, but I think that Samsung should have put more effort to make it stand out. Because with the S21 FE around, I don't see the point of anyone getting the S22. And besides what I said about the S22 not fitting in, I still wanted to let you guys in on my experience with it so that it can help you decide whether or not it's worth buying. And now the first thing that I want to look at when it comes to the Galaxy S22, was the battery life. Now, after five months with the S22, I was hardly able to finish my day with battery left, which was a real disappointment since the S22 costs more than a lot of phones that can last me all day. Whenever I would play heavy games, my phone would be dead in the middle of the day, which was really underwhelming. And whenever I didn't use any power heavy apps, I still couldn't end my day, which again was a huge problem when it came to everyday use. The charging was also pretty fast. Like whenever I use my 20 watt fast charger, I would plug my phone in for a short amount of time whenever I needed juice and I would get enough to finish strong throughout the night. And when compared to the S21 Plus, the charge times were pretty much the same. So overall, I would say that the battery on the S22 was pretty bad. And if you're someone who was looking to get this phone, then it won't be able to last you the whole day. So it's best to keep your portable charger or your regular charger on you. Now, the next thing that I wanted to look at when it comes to the Galaxy S22 is the display. Now the Galaxy S22 has a 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display that was really good when compared to other phones in this price range. I really liked how smooth the display felt when it wasn't hot. Like whenever I cooled it down, it was buttery smooth, but once my phone got hot, there was a lot of times where my whole screen would freeze and I would have to restart my phone. And the one thing that was really good about the S22's display was the fact that it had the brightest screen out of any phone in this price range. Like whenever I was outside on my phone, I was able to see everything and the quality was still really good. Another problem that I had with the S22's display was the fact that the haptics weren't as sharp when compared to the S22 Plus or the S22 Ultra. I feel like the responsiveness wasn't there all the way and it felt like an overall cheaper experience. The size of the display was really good. It wasn't too big to the point where it was a pain to hold when watching a video and it wasn't small enough to the point where I couldn't see anything. It was the perfect size for comfort and viewing experience. And now the last thing that I liked about the Galaxy S22's display was the great resolution that gave me a very premium experience when watching my favorite shows and movies. The colors were vibrant, the picture was sharp, and the size was perfect, which really made me appreciate the S22's display. And to show you guys how good the display is, I'm gonna show you how good it looks when I'm watching a video and playing a game. Kobe around the corner. 
Bucks are just going to get too excited out there. I don't think. Right, this crowd on their feet for Brian underneath. He's got it. This place is alive. Time out. New York. Now the next thing that I want to look at when it comes to the Galaxy S22 was the speakers now the bass on the s22 was the only part of the speaker where i would say was lacking it didn't really hit hard at all and whenever i would play my music out loud on my phone the bass was so low that i ultimately put headphones on when it came to certain songs and the only reason why i would watch videos out loud was because of how clear the vocals were watching movies enhanced my viewing experience and was the only reason the speakers were pretty enjoyable and to give you guys an example of how the speakers sound Here's an example of me watching a video with the sound on. So on one hand, it's nice that you can look back at your previous work and see a difference and actually know that you're getting better at something. But on the other hand, it is kind of embarrassing when all that old stuff is still up and it's just not good. But I've been making videos more or less for about 13 years or almost 14 years now, which is crazy to say out loud. But the thing that I think I'm most proud of as far as the video making process is that pretty much all of it is self-taught. Now the final thing that I wanted to look at when it comes to the Galaxy S22 is the cameras. Now the Galaxy S22 has a 50 megapixel wide camera that was able to take photos no matter how tough the environment was and was also able to record high quality videos. Like right here, you can see my outside daytime photos and I will say that these were very good pictures that turned out really nice. The skies were very vibrant and colorful. The trees and other aspects of nature were very nice. My face looked very color accurate, especially when compared to many phones in this price range. And the overall vibrancy of the outside pictures were pretty good to no surprise. And now when we look at the inside daytime photos, I will say that these were also really great. Like right here, you can see that there was no graininess no matter how dark it got. And my selfies were very good when compared to other flagships. The quality got much better. The sharpness was still great. And the colors were very accurate, which was saying a lot for a phone at this price. And when it came to video quality, the S22 had one of the best to offer in its price range. And to give you guys an example, here are some videos that I took on it. And there it is you guys, my review on the Galaxy S22 after four months of use. Now let me know down in the comments, would you still get the Galaxy S22 in 2022? Let me know. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I would like to say thank you for sticking around. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe, it will be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Bye.